The big problem that you have is not with women, and it's not with women wearing makeup. It's the fact that your brain has been overtuned to constantly expecting women to be wearing makeup so that when you see a woman without the makeup on, that doesn't look as good to you. Because the majority of the time that you're seeing women is when they have makeup on, i.e. when they're out in public, when they're at their job, when they're posting on social media. Because generally speaking, people want to present themselves in the best possible way that they think is the best possible way. And a lot of times, feminine people, women specifically, in this case, are going to be wearing makeup to achieve that. And the reason for that is not because it's in their nature to be duplicitous and they're trying to trick you into getting into relationships so they can take all your money while they go and f Tyrone. That's not what the problem is. That might be what you think it is, but it's not it. The main reason why women are wearing makeup all the time is because society expects them to. And who put that in place? So I was scrolling my Twitter timeline as I very rarely do nowadays, mostly because I have other things I'd rather be doing. Nothing like more productive or more interesting by default. It's just my interests have changed. They've shifted what I do to waste my own time has shifted a little bit. I'm less on Twitter nowadays. I'm less on any social media really. And I'm more so just vegetating, playing video games and also hanging out with friends, which is a bit new for me. Watching things, playing Magic the Gathering, going places. My life has become better. And because of that, the channels become worse financially speaking. <laughs> uh, so I was scrolling Twitter and um, Joey, friend of the show, Veritas Joe, put this shit on my timeline and it made me have a thought, which is never a good idea. So I figured we'd talk about it. So it's some dumbass whom I don't know. What is this? Does this person have any followers? 69 fo more followers than me, all right? So this is, I'm well within my rights to uh, talk shit. They said, imagine if women couldn't wear makeup. And then you have a picture of the woman in question in makeup and then out of makeup, ostensibly. And I know what they're trying to say, right? Like, we get it at this point. They've got a Powerpuff Girls OC as their profile picture. That's a vibe check. So, like, Powerpuff Girl OC Avi or Powerpuff Girl Avi in general, not a bad vibe inherently, right? But mixed with the context of this post and the subsequent one, you failed the vibe check a little bit, you know? Joey said, speak the truth, and it's the same shit you incel meme. Friends. Friends, everybody. Been saying for years. <laughs> so many meme pages are scared to speak the truth because they're afraid to lose followers. It's so cringe. All my fellow pages disagreeing with me just want to be politically correct. It's sickening. So, like, the politically incorrect take here is apparently that, like, the duplicitous woman is wearing makeup to lure you in to a relationship with her. To what end? Who the fuck knows? And like, once like she's out of the makeup, something happens, I guess? Like the moon falls into Yellowstone and it causes an eruption that destroys the continental United States, for better or for worse. Like, I don't know what the, the end of the logic tree is here, necessarily, in this person's mind. But like, for one, she doesn't look bad. She just looks like a human being. And like, if you're into humans, like, it's chill, you know? And for two, she looks good in, in this one too. Like, it's, it's, yeah, different aesthetics. But the thing is, is like, there's a, a broader conversation to be had here. It's the same kind of vein for when dudes like this are like, oh, yeah, take her to the pool on a first date. Ha <laughs> ha. That way you can find out what she looks like under the makeup. Like, bro, if you want to find out what she looks like under the makeup, get to the point where like you're spending a night in the same bed and you'll probably find out, you know? Like, there are ways to find out what a person looks like when they're not wearing makeup, and that usually involves forming a deeper relationship with them to the point where they're, like, comfortable not wearing makeup around you. Which is interesting in and of itself, because, like, why are women wearing makeup then? Why are women wearing makeup? Why is this even a conversation? Because, like, they're not born with makeup. I don't know if these people know that or not, but, like, they're not born with makeup. It's something you have to learn how to apply and then put on and spend a lot of goddamn time and money to do. For one, it's not easy. For two, it's an artistic endeavor, which is cool. For three, it costs a lot of goddamn money. So it's like, what's the problem? There are many, uh, but I, I'm interested to see where this person's going. So you have the main post here. We got some continued posting. Quote, she's still pretty. Stop being delusional. Holy shit, you're also afraid to tell the truth. Women live in la-la land, dude. She just looks like a fucking human being, dude. If she's not your type, it is what it is. But clearly you find the one where she's wearing makeup more attractive than the other. So, like, you're already in a position where you're taking an L because you've already admitted that she's hot. You just don't like her as much when she doesn't have makeup on. Seeing all these triggered women using horrible analogies slash hypotheticals as an argument is really funny. Keep coping. 
So imagine if men couldn't get haircuts. Yeah, it's not the best hypothetical or analogy. The next one is like, what if men couldn't grow beards? Because beards are quite literally makeup for men. I'm not the first person to say it, but you can use your beard if you can grow one. I doubt this person can. Uh, you can use your beard and, and shape it in such a way that even if you don't have like a Chad jaw like I do, you can make the appearance of one through shaping and grooming your beard. And not only that, but having a lot of coverage of your face with a beard would hide any blemishes, any like sun damage or skin discoloration or whatever that can make your face look better than it would without it. There's a reason why when dudes who are always wearing a beard end up shaving it for whatever reason, they look like entirely different people. And it's because it operates in a similar capacity to any other way that you would change the way your face looks. In this case, makeup. So it's weird. And what I find interesting about this is like, imagine if women couldn't wear makeup. I don't know if that's the question we need to be asking. I think a better question is what if makeup never existed? You know, what if makeup never existed? What if it was never a thing that was created? Nobody ever applied it, men or women, and everybody was just raw dogging it with their face out in the wilderness every single day. If that was the case, then dudes like this would find this attractive, right? Because that's the only option you have. You don't get to see somebody with a full face of makeup that you clearly find more attractive than the alternative. You would only see this. This side wouldn't exist anymore. Like, it, you'd only see this. And at that point, like, the conversation would then shift to, like, something else women are doing that you don't like, you know, because the voices in your head decided that it wasn't good or whatever, you know? You wouldn't have this because you'd be accustomed to the non-makeup version. You wouldn't have the alternative. And obviously they would have other problems with women because there's always something, right? Like there's, it's always something because you got, you got to hate women for some reason or else you're not like based in red pilled or whatever. Apparently there's like clout to be gained. You can get a couple coins on your, your Patreon or whatever. If you say women bad. And that and that that kind of that recontextualization of the question at hand or like the thought experiment at hand, imagine if women couldn't wear makeup, what if it never existed, then led me to think, well, like the big problem that you have, the poster of this picture is not with women and it's not with women wearing makeup. It's the fact that your brain has been over tuned to constantly expecting women to be wearing makeup so that when you see a woman without the makeup on, that doesn't look as good to you. Because the majority of the time that you're seeing women is when they have makeup on, i.e. when they're out in public, when they're at their jobs, when they're posting on social media, because generally speaking, people want to present themselves in the best possible way that they think is the best possible way. And a lot of times, feminine people, women specifically in this case, are going to be wearing makeup to achieve that. And the reason for that is not because it's in their nature to be duplicitous and they're trying to trick you into getting into relationships so they can take all your money while they go and fuck Tyrone. That's not what the problem is. That might be what you think it is, but it's not it. The reason why women wear makeup, outside of the fact that they might just want to, because one, it's a form of expression, an artistic endeavor. It's a skill that you have to practice and you can feel good about being really good at it or enjoy the process of getting good at it. And like also just wanting to look a certain way for your own reasons, because you like to look a certain way. Outside of that, the main reason women wear makeup is because they are expected to or else dudes like this would be like, oh my God, you're so ugly. This woman is so ugly. Wow. They're expected to because otherwise dudes in society who have stunted mental growth will have a problem with it. The main reason why women are wearing makeup all the time is because society expects them to. And who put that in place? I'm pretty sure like feminists have been fighting for the liberation of women in a variety of fronts that are a bit more like concrete, like, you know, women's suffrage was a big thing. Not being like the property of their husbands and fathers was another big thing that they fought against. But also they've been like fighting against expectations to shave body hair or whatever. Expectations to then wear makeup as well because you shouldn't be expected to. You shouldn't be seen in any negative light if you choose not to. But the problem is a lot of women, if they choose not to wear makeup, will end up facing some sort of negative pushback because of the expectation in society that they should. So then you'll have like young girls with these fucked up expectations for what women are supposed to look like and what girls are supposed to look like that are gonna then start like worrying about like, oh my God, well, Tiffany in my class, her mom lets her wear makeup and I can't and everybody thinks that I'm ugly because, and then it fucking reinforces so many negative things in people's minds when they're young and then when they're adults, like it's not good. And it wasn't put there by the feminazis. It wasn't put there by the women. Those expectations were built by, usually, cisgender heterosexual men. 
because that is the demographic that has had the power throughout the majority of and still does have the power to shape cultural expectation in society and shape political power and wield political power to meet those ends. Because I don't know if y'all like, know this or not, but women used to not have very many rights. It might be shocking to you, but like they had to fight along with male allies, with men who are allied to the feminist movement, to be able to vote be able to open their own credit lines. Like literally, for a long time, women could not open their own credit card. You had to have your husband open a credit line for you under his name. Women were literally considered property of their husbands and fathers. I don't think that's good because I'm pro-freedom, you know? Might be a hot take. But that was the case for the long time, and they didn't have political power either. Women are still pretty underrepresented in politics, like in modern day, current year. So because of this, like it's literally men's fault that your porn adult brain is overtuned to always expect women to wear makeup. And whenever you see one without it, you think you're being tricked or whatever. You think you're looking at like an ogre that is trying to trick you for whatever reason you think you're getting tricked for. I don't know what to what end, but they'd probably be like, oh, for my money. It's like, bro, you're posting on Twitter about how much you hate women. You probably don't have that much money. Let's be honest. And it's not to say that like all men out there, hashtag not all, are in a position where like it's their fault for the ills of society, like the sins of the father. That's not what I'm saying. What I am saying is that if you continue to perpetuate those negative things, if you continue to perpetuate the sins of the father and not decide to work against it and work for the liberation and freedom and equality for women and anybody with the capacity for pregnancy, feminine people, generally speaking, like you're now part of the problem and you might not have been the architect, but you're one of the builders and you're not arriving calmly with a sense of purpose. You're fucking floundering. All right. You've got no idea what you're doing and you're just a subject. You know, you're subject to the winds of fate like the rest of us, but you've decided to continue reinforcing negative shit that's literally hurting you. Like you wouldn't have this kind of mental illness if not for the sins of the father. So you got to learn from the mistakes of the past, learn from the mistakes of weak men in the past who felt like they needed to be able to control women or else like who knows what would happen in society they expected. Like you got to figure your shit out and this is not it. Like, the, posting shit like this is self-harm, brother. You gotta look inside yourself. All sorts of laws have treated women as children and or property of husbands or fathers. Yeah, and there are a lot of people in the Republican Party in the United States of America and in the conservative movement who want to revert to that. That's why they don't like abortion. That's why they don't like contraception or, you know, plan B or birth control. Because they want to be able to control women. In this case, this person wants to be able to control women to not ever not be wearing makeup or something. It's very contradictory because bigotry is inherently contradictory. It's not something that has any like reality grounding it. It's all voices in the mind that have been propagandized to the person who is holding those thoughts to meet the end of, you know, getting power or whatever from the people who were the architect of it. They also want to get rid of divorce or no-fault divorce. Yeah, for sure. Like, Steven Crowder is, like, on tape verbally abusing his wife. She ends up leaving him. That shit comes out, and then the next day he's talking about how he doesn't want no-fault divorce and he thinks it's bad. Which, for those of you who don't know, no-fault divorce means that you can just get divorced for whatever fucking reason, because you feel like it. Where, without no-fault divorce, aka with fault divorce, I guess, there has to be an actual reason for why the person who wants the divorce, why the other person in the arrangement is at fault for whatever. And usually that whatever is physical abuse and stuff like that. And you have to like prove that in a court of law, which is a high hill to climb, especially considering that throughout time, the justice system has been unfavorable to women. Because the justice system was literally reinforcing women being property of their husbands and fathers when there was laws on the books to not let them vote, to not let them control their own reproductive health, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, you know? So shockingly, the same people who put those laws in place and, you know, their continued descendants and acolytes end up continuing that negative process. And then all the people in positions of power turn out to, you know, be men for the most part. It's quite cringe. It's quite cringe. That doesn't sound like freedom at all. Yeah, well, it's not. Because, like, I don't even care about the she's still pretty argument. That's super surface level, like, literally. Because, like, you can have your takes. Like, you can prefer the left to the right. I don't give a fuck. You can prefer the right to the left. You can like both like me like a normal person as well. I don't give a shit. Because the conversation is deeper than that. The conversation is like, oh, my God, without makeup, is she an ogre or is she still pretty? Like, that's, like, one-on-one level shit. There's a little bit more going on here. And I find it, you know, interesting to talk about. So that's why I have. <laughs> We've got more.
Looks and beauty is really all a woman has going for her coming into a relationship, so I understand makeup, but she looks like a completely different person. But, like, even then, like, so, like, what's the option now? Like, you gotta be gay at that point. Because, so, for one, this person thinks that women shouldn't be wearing makeup because it's deceitful and trickery, because they look like a completely different person with it off. But, like, also, they're not attractive to the person who has it off. So, like, it seems like you would prefer the makeup to stay on at all times. And if that's the case, there's actually dumbass, like, traditional marriages where women, like, who are staying at home all day to raise the kids, the husband expects them to wear makeup at home, which is insane. Like, if a person wants to, sure, but, like, there was, like, a, an expectation, and if there wasn't, like, there'd be, like, a social problem there between the husband and the wife. So, like, you either don't want makeup to exist, and you don't want women to be doing makeup, which then puts you in a position to never find a woman attractive ever again. Because like I say, your brain has been overtuned to only seeing women with makeup. Because the only time you see women without makeup was when like, you see your mom when you ask her for chicken nuggies for dinner. And she just got home from work and she's not wearing any makeup because why the fuck would she do that? You know? Because otherwise, like, you're usually seeing women with makeup because there's a societal expectation for women to always be wearing makeup. So then, like, if we get rid of makeup, you're never going to find a woman attractive and you're just going to stay an incel. Like, you played yourself. The only option that you have, which is not possible currently, is to go back in time and, you know, stop the creation of makeup at every point in our history that it may have been attempted, you know? But, like, it's contradictory because it's inherently contradictory. There is nothing logical about bigotry. Bigotry breaks down once you introduce logic into it. Like, the antidote for bigotry is logic. It can't stand up to it. And also, and like on the other side of the coin, well, like, okay, so now we're in a position where women have to always be wearing makeup. So like, that's an insane expectation. Because like, if you have like a partner, and you expect her to always wear makeup, that's going to be a lot for her to do all the goddamn time. For one, I don't think she'd be willing to put up with that. So like, you're just going to be alone for the rest of your life. Or for two, like, you know, you can wear makeup too, right? Like, <laughs> you can be that duplicitous, deceitful makeup wearer if you want. And, like, do, like, low-key, more masculine makeup looks that, like, hide your blemishes, that contour your face a little bit more to make it look a bit more masked, to make your brow protrude a little bit more, to make your jawline look a little bit more, you know, chadly. There's a lot you can do with makeup, like, for looks that don't even look like you're wearing makeup. Like, you don't have to, as a dude, you don't have to look like the one on the left. Like, it's based if you do, but, like, you could just wear low-key masculine makeup that is usually just gonna, like, hide blemishes and even out your skin. And, like, because of, you know, our beauty standards in society, you'll end up looking better than if you didn't have it. Like, I only wear eyeliner. I don't wear fucking foundation, none of that shit. Because it's way too goddamn much work. <laughs> and I'm lazy. And my skin is fucked up. Could be worse, though. Um, well, I don't know. It, it's very dumb. It's very dumb. For better or for worse, makeup was inevitable. Social pressure to look pretty was so powerful that nightshade poisons were used for blush and pupil dilation throughout the Middle Ages. Jesus. It's crazy. We need to stop these deceptive practices. <laughs> like, yeah, like it, there's no winning here. Because the goal is not that they've diagnosed a problem and they're looking for a solution to the problem that they think would make the world better or make their life better. They literally just want to control women. Because there's no other logical through point that we can discover that would, you know, address their grievances. They just want to be able to control women. And the funny thing is, is like, they're perpetuating a system that already does control women. But it's not enough. Like, get control of your own life first. That's all I ask. All right? Don't do the next point, which is trying to continue the campaign for eliminating the rights of minority groups. That's not good. But, like, if you're gonna do that, don't be, like, a fucking mess yourself. <laughs> you could do yourself that much of a service, I think. Have some self-respect. But, like, don't do the next part. Just, like, be a better person, maybe. The only way to win the game is to stop playing by ignoring the idiots and fighting for rights. Yeah, exactly. The only way to, like, help this person is by an overwhelming political and cultural victory that makes this worldview irrelevant. And it already kind of is. Like, most of the people that see this are going to clown on it because it's very dumb. So, like, we're already in a direction where the culture has shifted such that people, generally speaking, understand that women aren't born with makeup on and, like, keep it on at all times, and, like, they don't have to apply it, they don't have to spend money to, you know, get it or whatever. People understand that, like, women are wearing makeup because it's something they're put on the face. It's like, you, the, your face is the canvas and the, the makeup is the paint. But, like, that's the main way you deal with it. Because at that point, then we could do, like, the reason why I'm in, like, we're in a position where, like, I can make fun of this and talk about it in this way is because we moved in the culture far enough 
that this kind of dumb bullshit isn't really a threat, you know? Like, this kind of stupid-ass thought process, the only eventuality of it is that this person is forever alone. Which sucks for them, but, like, you played yourself, I guess. But, you know, because of the Republican Party, conservatives, generally speaking, continuing the project to control women and control anybody with the capacity for pregnancy and literally just control anybody they don't personally identify with the demographic of, it's going to continue to be a problem. But, like, the only thing this person's doing is, like, talking shit on Twitter and, like, maybe voting for a Republican. <laughs> outside of that, like, outside of, like, interpersonal shit, like, this person's probably not safe for this person to be around women or children, probably. But outside of any of that kind of shit, which I can't know, it's just funny to make fun of. Women aren't born to be pretty, they're born to exist. That's not true. It's neither of those, okay? Women, men, doesn't matter. We're all born to make money by trading our labor for vastly meager paychecks in order to make mega wealthy multinational corporations and their CEOs way more money than they'll ever know what to do with. That's why we were put on this earth. That's why human beings are born. All right? You could take that one to the bank. <laughs> what puzzles me is that this kind of Twitter post is just straight up humiliation. Well, it's possible that they have a blue check that they're hiding. Can you still do that? I feel like, didn't they take that away? I don't know. It would make more sense for this person to have a blue check than not, because then they're like engagement farming. They're rage baiting for like $5 maybe at the end of the month from like 70 of these like unique copied posts. You get a $5 paycheck at the end of a month for posting 70 of these or something like that. But like if they don't, if they're not a blue check, like this is just profound mental illness. There's being an incel for the love of the game. Hey, listen, respect, you know? I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> anyway, follow Joey, friend of the show, sub to the YouTube. He's the main reason why this popped up on my timeline, like I said. Thought it'd be fun to talk about. <laughs>